a software app. So we'll first of all, we'll go to the Structured Data Editor and we'll just search the classes for software. And you can see software application comes up. Once you're here, we're going to click on Create. Um, and we're going to name it a software app. So maybe we'll, we'll, we'll talk about schema apps since it's a, a software application. Uh, this is listed at schemaapp.com. Um, and it's a software app, so we'll click OK. Once this comes up, what we're going to want to do is start by filling out the required fields. Um, and here, the, the primary required field is name, so that's schema app. Um, and so our description is schema app uh, provides um, digital marketers and content and here's the ability to automate. Process. All right. Um, the image, we'll go ahead and uh, pull the link from schemaapp.com. We'll just pull the, the logo from there. So I'll we'll copy that link address and go back to the editor. Um, when you enter it in, you'll see sort of, I, I sort of enter it in and then it's saying like untyped resource. So let's see, it's not coming up with the copy image address would help. So we'll put that in. Um, and then what you do is you just select on type resource. Um, same as, so we'll do HTTP. Uh, we could put in our Twitter schema app tool. Um, and then the URL is going to be the same URL uh, you put in your URI. So that's, that's the page that you're marking up. Um, and then I want to go ahead and, and sort of articulate sort of what it is. Um, so here it's about a subject matter of the content. So um, you know, schema is about schema markup. So maybe I'll create an instance called schema.org vocabulary. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put in just schema.org in here as a way to refer to it. Um, and I don't know if I can, if there's anything more specific, Let's see if there's vocabulary in here or language maybe is, is sort of the one for this one that makes the most sense. I'm going to just type it in the language. There we go. Okay. Um, and then what you want to do is if you have a rating uh, for your, your software app, you want to kind of fill that in here um, as well as, you know, anything else that you can specify. None of these are, are absolutely required. Um, one of the things you'll want to do, though, is if I scroll down here and find offer. So offers. So if there's different offers, so for example, with Schema App, we have um, sort of the different types of offers. Um, so let's we'll see if they're in here. Uh, so they're not. So we'll go ahead and, and type on the drop dropdown. Um, and we'll want to create the instances for the offer. Uh, so pro account. Um, and this one is specifically described on the schema app pricing page. So we'll go ahead and pull that up um, and put that as the URI and that's the offer. Um, and then what I can do is after I add, so let's say I um, want to also add a set, another one here. Um, and I'll put in here um, team account, uh, same URI. And maybe I can do like hashtag team account. Uh, okay. Um, and so you can add those in. And then what you do is you go ahead and save those changes. And then if you want to add additional detail for those offers, you can click on that um, and then edit the offer and uh, add the details in here. So that's how you add a software application um, and then specify or link to the, the different offer pages.